Hello Year 7, welcome to the Anglo. I am Miss Jones, I'm going to be your head of year for next year. We're really looking forward to seeing you. We've got some great induction days planned for the end of June and we're looking forward to meeting you all there. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the school so that you can see some familiar um, faces and some familiar places. Let's go. So this is where you will arrive to school. You'll arrive from over there um, and there's a zebra crossing for you to cross to make sure that you're safe when you get into school. At the moment, this is the gate that year seven students enter via. Uh, when you come into the gate um, in the mornings, you will go to your form rooms. If for any reason you are late, you need to enter via this gate and you'll be met by a year leader or you may need to press the button here if you arrive uh, a bit later and the gate is locked. All of the gates on school site are locked during the day and in order to enter you will either need to press the button or you will put your thumbprint here and that will give you access to the school. Right in front of where I'm standing right now is where the canopy is situated. Underneath the canopy there are lots of picnic benches underneath for you to be able to enjoy your lunch and this is where you will be spending your break time and your lunch time on your induction days. If it rains don't worry because you'll be covered by the canopy. me that I'm standing outside of C5 which is the year leader's office. To the right of me is the door for student services. This is C4. If you need anything, if you need any help with anything, you should always come to this area where a member of the student services team or a year leader will be able to help you. Here I'm standing at the opposite end of the canopy where you're going to have your lunch and I'm outside of the main hall. The main hall is where various events take place including assemblies, the school production, music concerts and the Ice Dead Food performances. You'll also be spending some of your induction days in the main hall. I'm now going to walk over to A Block uh, where I will show you the dining hall and the library. I'm now standing in the corridor in A Block where the library is situated. The library is used sometimes for lessons but you can also come here at break and lunch time if you need to print something or if you need to read or if you need to find a book that will help you with some of your studies. It's also the home to study club which starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and it also goes on until 5 o'clock in the evening. So if you need help with your homework or if you need just a quiet space to do your homework then this is the place to do it. So I'm now in the dining hall where you'll come to get a hot lunch. It's a big space and there are often lots of people in here. So we need to be very kind and considerate to other people when we're queuing up for lunch and when we're waiting. Uh, you will line up outside of the dining hall and then you will come to the left of me where there is a barrier. This will lead you into the canteen where you can choose your food. Here, we're very lucky, we don't need to use any money here at school, so you don't need to bring any money with you because everything is paid for using your thumbprint that you will have done on your induction days. I'm now standing at the back of A Block, so you saw me come through the front of A Block, I'm now standing at the back. Uh, we've come through the dining hall and where the languages department is and the English department is upstairs. I'm standing in front of what we call L Block, which is an extension of the languages department. There's also a learning support department, so if you need any help with anything um, like that, then this is where you would come and find those people who can support you. I'm now standing just inside the doors in L Block. I'm just going to point out to you that around the school there are lots of maps that look just like this one to help you to find where you are. It is a bit scary coming to secondary school because you've got lots of different buildings, lots of different places to be, but there's always somebody on hand or something like a map to help you to get around the school. At Anglo, we're a really supportive, helpful community. If you ask any teacher if you get lost or look for a sixth form prefect who has got a yellow lanyard, they will be able to point you in the right direction for where your lesson is if you get a bit lost. So I'm now in the back playground and that is the end of our virtual tour today. I hope you've enjoyed having a look around the school. You can obviously watch this video as many times as you like to get yourself familiar with school and we'll even be watching it again on the induction days to make sure that you're really confident with where you're going. We're really looking forward to seeing you at the end of June for your induction days and we can't wait for you to be here with us as part of the Anglo family.